in this video we're going to go over autopsy keyword search and uh, our next laboratory exercise is L90 right here so we continue using a forensic uh, dog napping case and uh, in this exercise we're now going to run keyword search in just module and pre-populate it with the keywords that we uh, consider to be usable in the case in general, when you are working within cases and you become familiar with the case brief, and uh, uh, it's typically uh, the case description that generates the initial set of keywords that you'd like to be able to include in your search. Uh, once you run the keyword search in just module, uh, you can then just start searching for all sorts of keywords uh, using uh, inside uh, the case. It's also interesting to note that the keyword search engine uh, is using already the results of previous uh, extracted content, for instance. Remember, we discussed uh, web artifacts, um, information that came from a Windows registry describing um, uh, user accounts, uh, operating system information. Um, and uh, so this uh, entire set of data that was already extracted and pre-processed is going to participate as a data source, brand new data source uh, for uh, our keyword searches. So let's uh, get started with this. I already have the case opened. And uh, in general, just remember that uh, the text, uh, when we execute keyword search in just module, um, every file and every um, artifact already present, uh, present in the case will contribute uh, printable words, uh, uh, anything that looks like printable characters, and uh, many um, uh, in instances of just uh, uh, digit, uh, digit entries such as phone numbers, they all will become part of the index, and the index is always sorted and the index contains um, a sorted uh, keyword um, list which is linked to uh, the original item that produced uh, this uh, specific keyword so it's instant uh, access to all of these uh, files and uh, web artifacts and, and other parts that are identifi identifiable uh, in the case become uh, very quickly accessible through, through keyword search. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our data source. We're going to right click and go to uh, running uh, ingest modules. Uh, recall that all already processed ingest modules are marked with the exclamation point icon right here. I will now uncheck the recent activity, which was the latest module, and now we're going to use the keyword search. Okay, so uh, this is uh, what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to um, create a keyword list uh, with the following uh, entry, uh, which is uh, Renzik. All right, so let's uh, uh, click on uh, Global Settings. And uh, the global uh, settings uh, allows us to uh, specify the keyword list. So normally uh, you would want to give a keyword list uh, a name uh, right here. And uh, so these are all sorts of uh, keywords that I've used earlier. But now I'm going to create new list and uh, uh, name it, uh, for example, Renzik. case okay and uh, we're going to add new keywords and uh, this is the dialog you can uh, you can use uh, the whole word or, or uh, uh, you can do uh, uh, basically part of the word in your search and you can also use regular expression uh, search patterns so we're going to use exact match and forensic is going to be the keyword that we're going to add uh, to the keyword list so let's click OK. And by the way, you can paste, uh, you can just list your keywords um, in the in a text file and copy and paste, by the way, if you have multiple keywords. So you don't have to really uh, type them in individual uh, in this uh, in this entry box. Okay, so now uh, we have uh, the Renzo case right here. 
uh, keyword list and I'm just going to uh, click OK and now um, basically include this uh, and I will just uh, uncheck other uh, uh, other um, entries right here that are available some pre-built keyword lists are relying on um, regular expression searches such as phone number IP addresses uh, email addresses but uh, um, well perhaps we can we can use uh, email addresses perhaps this may be beneficial for uh, future labs you can also search for credit card numbers and you can always uh, redo this uh, keyword search if you want to add additional um, additional keywords and one more thing required by our lab handout uh, that uh, if you go back to uh, global settings and switch to the general uh, tab uh, here you can configure uh, how often uh, the processing of the ingest module uh, will update the actual results so sometimes uh, you want to be able to see the hits on the keyword as soon as possible so of course you can uh, lower down uh, the uh, update frequency uh, during the ingest uh, so uh, in this specific case uh, uh, we can switch to a one minute uh, um, update frequency but uh, the impact that it makes is that a lot of this processing is done in computer memory uh, but when you uh, lower down the frequency of the update uh, like this uh, so basically it, it'll it'll update it more often um, the thing is that the database of the case has to be updated in order to uh, make uh, the results available in the tree so that's uh, why um, you know uh, in most cases you just want to keep it to the default like five minutes but uh, try to change it to one minute for this specific exercise So just check again that this is the only module that is uh, that is uh, check marked to uh, start and uh, click finish to start the ingest you should be able to see the status line right here um, and uh, as it says in our description after uh, it's running um, through some of the files um, uh, although the findings are not that exciting but uh, uh, we should be able to see some relevant uh, updates uh, um, over 15 percent of uh, processing done or so and uh, the questions that we will be answering here what are the references to the document with uh, Renzik? apparently it should be visible in the results of the search for this keyword and how many hits are there uh, inside ntuser.dat So obviously because the entire data source with all of already extracted artifacts um, are generating information for our keyword search index uh, this is going to take a while so uh, it's just being already a minute or so and I'm only at two percent so I'm just going to let it sit there and run for a while just to see um, when uh, when the first results are going to be uh, to become available uh, we have the keyword hits um, entry again under results uh, uh, subtree and you can see that uh, uh, these are two uh, two areas that uh, may be populated and I'm expecting that our single keyword uh, as we entered into the uh, set of keywords um, is going to appear over here so we'll just have to wait for this to get processed <laughs> 